Hello there, my gummy nice. Just a bit of an aside here. I want to let you guys know, essentially, from future me, that my next set of videos is going to be coming out. My next set of videos is going to be coming out. It's going to be a straight up Ruby marathon. So I know you guys uh, are getting this video now, but I'm, I'm basically already done with most of those videos, and I'm just going to be uploading them, you know, pretty much one after another. So within the next couple, like, weeks. I mean, not necessarily weeks, like just a couple of days. I don't even know why I say weeks. I mean, like a week, really. Uh, just going to be putting them out there and in succession. So that's going to be like the next set of videos. So go ahead and just kind of like get this done because <laughs> I really do want to get it done. I have like other videos that need to come out and they're down the pipeline that need to come out. But that's going to be the next set. It's just going to be straight up Ruby. So every time you guys see a Ruby video, you know why I'm just letting you know right here. Anyway, back to this video for you take it away past me all right my gummy knights and uh welcome back to the echo chamber let's just go on to get into this ruby cha ruby chapter 9 volume 7 you guys already know what the video is roll it i'm not even saying this by the way i don't want people to feel like i'm being a bit of a downer here but i'm, I'm not even saying this necessarily because last episode was bad or you know that bad because you guys you know you heard me talked about it you heard me kind of like sing his praises but i'm just like I feel like this episode is going to be a turning point back to the regressive bad. So I'm just already preparing myself for the absolute worst because I know that it is coming in. <sighs> Let's just go on and roll it. You don't want to see me fall. Stephen Curry, how I ball. Gosha garments and a white three on my body. I'm a Nikon and my girl about a turn. Councilman. I never intended. What people intend and what they do aren't always the same, General. Hmm? What? For how long? My authorization? Check it again. Councilman Snee. Um, <clears throat> yes, I, uh, agree with everything. Everything that was, uh, just said. No, uh, no further questions. Alright, so to kind of, like, jump in here, because I did, like, from a few episodes earlier, I wanted to actually know whether or not Jock... Because I'm, I'm assuming that's going to get brought up, given the fact that we know that Weiss ended up getting the video, um, from that private meeting that he had... Uh, from the private meeting that he had, I was wondering whether or not Jock actually committed any type of criminal action in order to be able to, like, not only vote himself in, but, you know, like, against Mantle itself, in order to create certain conditions that would better get his approval in order for him to be able to get into office. But it seems like as though my, uh, uh, my skepticism paid off and I ended up being right that it seems as though he actually didn't really do anything in terms of actually coming against Mantle, because he seems to be shocked by the information uh, that is coming to him, that uh, currently the heat and stuff is off in Mantle, and that the weather system and stuff has been changed, and he's like, okay, you know, his authorization was used in order to be able to complete this. So that's what I was kind of like wondering, and they just answered it for me, so okay, I, you know, because I wanted to see, because like I said, this, this volume, like in the beginning, this volume kind of like made it okay for me to like still hate Jock, but it's kind of like been making me like him. So at the same time, I just wanted to see if they were going to try to keep that up. Or they're going to keep the consistency going here and trying to turn me to the side that Jock is actually a good guy. He's being manipulated and he has like no idea what he's really getting into. You know, I mean, that was kind of like pointed out a bit last episode that, you know, um, by the mom, uh that he may not necessarily know exactly what he's getting into or who he's dealing with. And I think that we're getting to see that now. So I actually like this. And uh, yeah, let's go on and continue. You're afraid of something, General, aren't you? I think that's pretty obvious, Miss Hill. I'm trying to prevent Atlas from becoming another beacon, another haven. Yet you don't trust your own council to help you? Operating in secret? These are the actions of somebody who's hiding something. I'm not hiding anything. Let's put it to the test, then. You're all aware of my semblance. Let's settle it here and now. General Ironwood. Here and now. Wait! Okay, before Y steps in, 
and most likely, again, to absolutely expose Jock as, like, he's the real criminal, and he's most likely going to end up losing the council seat. He's probably going to lose the business stuff, too. Look, we all knew they were going to come down with Jock eventually. Uh, the fact that they're doing it this volume is not really too surprising. I mean, they had three volumes to try to set this up, but the through line, the the, the, uh, the through line of questioning on Robin's end, uh, necessarily, whereas I don't think that it's entirely misplaced. It feels like I feel like, given the fact of what she learned, you know, uh, like a couple episodes ago, this is kind of a bit ridiculous. <laughs> but also, at the same time, I can understand if somebody were to say, well, I guess she just wants to hear from the horse's mouth itself. And I'm like, okay, that's why I said it's not too bad, but necessarily to play her cards like this. Mm, mm, a little bit too out there. And also... Technically speaking, that is true. They do have the wrong men on trial, and I've been saying that the whole time, but it's not necessarily going to be for the reasons that Weiss is pointing out. Yes, there is some bad going on with Jock, but Ironwood should not be on trial at all in general because he's done nothing wrong. And you guys know have been the biggest vocal advocate and supporter. I mean, I, I would say that pretty much on the last course of the last few episodes, I was on the same level of winter in terms of my defense for Ironwood. So, yeah. Uh, 100%. Anyway, let's go ahead and see Weiss finally stand up and take down her father. Sorry, Jock, you had, you had, like, one good episode <laughs> before they finally came after you and took you down. I do apologize for that, but that's just how it had to be, man. Unfortunately. Is that... Oh, so what? That's impossible! Dr. Watts died in the Paladin incident years ago. What... What is this? Play it. Uh oh. Pa -pa 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 -pa. Play that shit. <laughs> oh god. Oh, my heart is actually racing a bit. Jesus. Is this going to be another good episode? So far, I don't have any complaints really. I'm, I've been liking this so far. Is this going to be another good episode of Ruby? Is it the last couple of episodes here that they're deciding that, hey, we're going to get rid of the nonsense? We know that we've led you on this train of BS leading up into these moments, but now we just want to bring you home. We will make sure that you still have some interest for Volume 8, because, come on, people, you know at this point, they got to try something. Interest is gone, ratings are down, you have got to try something, and if this is your Hail Mary attempt to bring everyone back into the fold, so far, I'm liking it. That bastard is costing me more money every day with this embargo. I'd lay off every employee in Mantle if I wasn't trying to get their damn votes for this council seat. What if I said you could have your cake and eat it too? What did you have in mind? James Ironwood never recognized my genius. After everything I gave him, he still disgraced me. I simply wish to return the favor. What's in it for me? A seat on the council. All I need is your login credentials to the Atlas Network. You promised to make Ironwood's life a waking nightmare. And I will guarantee you victory at the polls by giving the voters down in Mantle a little digital push, if you will. I always knew you were a good scientist, Arthur. <laughs> but I never knew you were such a good salesman. Enough. <laughs> that... That is... I, I can explain that. <clears throat> that isn't real. Jacques, take your seat. I'm sorry, what? No, I have to... <sighs> Why would you run, Jacques? Okay, so from what we actually got to hear of this quote-unquote conversation here, all it... No, because the episode pulled bad because they, 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 they contradicted. Like, Jock is genuinely surprised about his credentials being accessed and used in order to come against Mental. And as far as, like, what we've seen from Arthur, Arthur's, I mean, like, we know that his incentive, I mean, technically, technically speaking, you could surround that a bit of bad, but technically, that's not necessarily something that could be seen as evil or deplorable or somehow rigging the election, if you will, 
Because if he's giving them a push, he could sit there and put out some leaked information, right? I mean, <laughs> it's just like, you know, put out some bots. It's like, oh, and what's the name is like endorsing that. That that that's as far as like as far as like he's going. It's not necessarily rigging the election. It's just simply giving people more information in order to be able to utilize uh for them in order for themselves to be able to utilize, see who they rather vote for in terms of that. But it seems as though Jock just immediately, like, quits and is like, yep, all of it was nefarious, totally rigged, yada, yada, yada. But we all know, like I said, that the reason why this kind of, like, whole plot line is terrible to begin with, like, the premise is terrible because we all know what this is. This is exactly how they wanted to expose Donald Trump, right? This is exactly how they wanted to expose him and the whole Hillary thing, like, with the whole Russian probe. Too bad it failed. Too bad they couldn't do it. <laughs> so completely separate completely separate situations but this is how they believe it should have went down right so that that's what this whole premise is how they believe it should have went down but yeah 100 percent jock running here that was kind of a dumb and so i guess robin gets the seat it's a dumb move because she is absolutely terrible <laughs> she, she's like no better and so far, from what we heard from Jock in terms of, like, his policies and what he actually wanted to do, it does really seem like a benefit to Mantle. Yes, 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 it doesn't seem like he cares too much about workers, but, eh, I'm just saying, it's not, he's not all bad here. But at the same time, I get the whole premise. Anyway, continuing on. Atlas killed the heat on purpose! They'll do anything to control us! The situation here is getting out of control. Please advise. I'm sorry. The situation is getting out of control. You guys are literally standing right there. Why did you guys go back to the bad? You guys are literally standing right there with the weapons and armament. And it's like a, it's like a couple of guys literally who just broke in, started robbing and looting, and are trying to start a riot. It's like five people out there. You could literally suppress that. Yes, you can use non-lethal force. There are so many options that the Atlas troops here have right now. They're like, it's getting out of hand? It's like nobody even on these streets. It's like a ghost town. What are you talking about? This is getting out of hand. That's insane. Oh my god, no. Now it all starts falling apart. <laughs> it's all falling apart. It's over. It's over. Oh, I can't even believe it now. I can't even believe it. I can't trust it. Nope, it's over, man. It's over. No. It's quite simple, really. Now that I know Arthur Watts is alive, working with a madman like Tyrion Kalos, it would be easy for someone like him to coordinate an unthinkably heinous act like the one in that warehouse. Watts designed Mantle's entire security network. He used that access to hack the surveillance system and frame someone else for the job, all while stealing an election. And once you became a councilman, your newly granted clearance gave him a backdoor into Atlas's secure network. But you probably hadn't even considered that, had you? I'm sorry, but wouldn't they have fail safes against this? You know, the idea of somebody... St oh, look, I'm not saying... Because it was pointed out that he, um, like, Arthur could still get, like, a back way. All he needed was the credentials the first time. He could still get, like, a back way. But isn't there a way in order to be able to, like, cut him off at the head before he could be able to secure any valuable information or any able to do anything? So far... Even though it's bad, it's not on a scale to the point where people have started dying. It seems like he can still only work within his means and still only do certain things. He hasn't got, like, full control of the entirety of the system. Though this is kind of also a bit convoluted because they, the way they talk is almost as if they would be able to come up with a solution and they would have fail-safes. Like, you would think logically, but at the same time, you know, like, well, he created the entire system. So it's like really putting all this on Jock as if Arthur couldn't get it on his own, given the fact that he basically made the entire system that they're running off of. Like, there wasn't a multitude of ways. It seems like Jock was kind of like a pawn in all this. It's just a certain type of avenue when really he could have done it through any variety of means even with even without getting somebody um on the council specific credentials so it's just kind of like it's uh, like i said it's a bit convoluted but at the same time i feel like that there should be something like in order to be able to like stop jock's access altogether you know do like a freeze on him uh and anyone using his quote-unquote code uh, you know especially now i know he didn't bring it up because again he wanted like jock didn't bring it up because he wanted to run back over to see you know exactly what was going on but yeah, at the same time, you think they'd be like, oh, yeah, we got to put it, like, immediately to stop to this. Give us some type of, uh, like, some, like I said, some type of backdoor access that just in case you ever do get locked out of the system, 
you know, in case, in case of hackers, that they would have something like an extra code or something, something along the lines of that in order to be able to, like, jump in and stop this real quick before it gets too out of hand. But again, it's not even really that bad. They say it's like super bad and people are going to die, but nobody's dying. It's not that bad. It's like nobody's really out there. Everyone's kind of like saying in their homes. They're still trying to figure out what's going on. So I think that there's a good point where you guys have to jump in and say, okay, let's explore every avenue that we have in order to be able to stop this rather than just sitting around and kind of like, oh, let's blame this one guy, even though technically none of this is really all too much his fault. He does play a part and you should be able to come down on him for that, but uh, again, it feels like they're just kind of shirking a bit of responsibility or at least too much responsibility onto him rather than actually focusing on solutions. We need to get him out in the open. Okay, so let me get this straight. Yep, still here, everyone. How do a disgraced scientist and disappeared serial killer find each other, General? Why would they target you? And why are you working so hard to hide the Amity Communications Tower from them? You know? See, Robin, see, Robin, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I continue to despise her character. See, she was playing it already too close to the vest and then pretending. Don't try to get this whole, oh, now I can be out in the open now. It's like, no, 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 no. Where was this before? What happened? Nothing really seems to have elevated from you mentioning this information that you supposedly had, Miss, oh, I don't believe. Oh, oh, and it's not like he gave you any more evidence than what was given to you beforehand. Come on, now all of a sudden you're full in? Get, <laughs> get a grip, get a grip. And I gotta love it. Oh, I'm still here, people. Yes, and I love how they all look like, why though, please leave, no one wants you here. You gotta love it when even the show doesn't want her here. Go away, Robin, no one likes you. Please die in the fire. I really, really hate Robin. I used to think you were hiding something to protect yourself, but I can tell there's something much bigger going on here. Now I think it's to protect something else. Us, Atlas, maybe even all of Remnant. And you're afraid of what might happen if you tell the truth. You guys see what's wrong with it. I've explained it several times. Every episode that you've seen of me reacting to this, you guys know what's wrong with her statements right here, right now, and how she's approaching it now after all of that, after everything she's done put everyone through. <sighs> nope. <laughs> I hope you die. Please, someone kill her. I will forgive. I'm saying it right here. I will forgive everything. If she dies, I will forgive no matter how bad. I will literally say it, that Ruby is the greatest series of all time. And I will hold to that. You guys have my word. That's a promise. If she dies, okay? In this volume, she dies. They kill her, okay? Mero, you have officially been replaced. Robin is the worst, okay? Meryl's gonna do some dumb stuff, but there's nothing. Okay, I recant anything I said for Meryl. Robin is the ticket. If they kill her, all is forgiven. Earlier, you asked for my advice. I wanted Ozpin's advice. And his advice probably would have been to keep your secrets. When we first got here, you already knew that wasn't the right course. You had a new plan. It's time to give up on that plan. It's all falling apart. The panic you were worried about, it's already happening. The secrets you're keeping, they're about to be in the open anyway. It's time. Tell the truth. Oscar, shut your dumb ass up. That was obviously... Osman, not Osman. Um, fucking, I, I couldn't remember his name for a second. Ironwood has done nothing wrong. He's made exactly the right calls. None of what's happening right now is on him. It's on literally everyone else. Literally everyone else who has kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing until this blew up right in their faces right now going against everything he set up as a plan Constantly trying to come against him even his own team wasn't secure Even people we had as his most trusted members weren't secure because they constantly kept trying to contradict him Making things worse and worse and worse until now it's blown up and now he's getting blamed? It's like, oh, you knew this wasn't the right plan from the beginning. You just told everyone because blah, 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 uh, suddenly now we have the problem. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's like, no, you told everyone you would have still had the problem. In fact, it would have been much worse. You guys know this. I know this. It's awful. 
It's awful. We're back to the bad. We started off so good, now we're back to the bad. Oscar? I, I, oh, 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 you first. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. you. Um, actually. I just I wanted to say... I thought that uh, maybe... We, we should tell, tell Ironwood. Wood. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I guess we're on the same page, huh? Guess so. Now, I know this is not going to be what I want them to tell Ironwood, but given this awkwardness and this cute flirtation here, I want to say it. I want to say, tell Ironwood that we're dating. We're having sex with each other. I'm pregnant. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm taking this way too far. Even within this little bit of a pause of the segment here. I, I love it. I love it. I actually ship this. I actually ship this. It's not that it's really written all too well. I'm just like, I had to have one. I have to have one ship that I can actually get behind. And this is it. Since the beginning. I was like, yep, I can get behind this one. Good on you. Good on you. Both of the characters. Ruby's been a bit better. Ruby's kind of like been the best out of the main cast uh, this season. But Oscar has been just one of the worst. <laughs> He's not awful. He's not terrible. He's about as bad as everyone else. <laughs> but still, one of the worst, especially in the like, last uh, recent couple episodes. Like I said, it's just been here and there because he's not really in the series all that much. But hey, man, I'm with this. I'm shipping it. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -bum. How dare you? It's highly unnecessary. I will not stand for this. Don't touch me like that. I'll be reporting this rough treatment. What is your name and badge number? Back early. Tell me you found what we've been looking for. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You guys saw the scene. I don't even need to. Ugh. Okay, so I do kind of feel bad for Whitley, man. Well, I'm going to lie. <laughs> Uh, this is why they say, never meet your heroes. But in his case, uh, I think it's a bit worse, because he knew his hero his whole life. I'm just assuming his dad was his hero, given how much he clearly emulated him and idealized him. But to see this, and it's such a defeat. I mean, and I can understand, uh, I can understand why, um, you know, his mom was all, like, uh, telling Weiss to, you know, like, protect him and stuff like that, you know, kind of, like, keep him close. Because how hard something like this would be for him. So yeah, I, I do kind of feel bad for him. That's all I'm going to say on that. Let's continue on. Dismantle me like before. Show me your teeth and tongue. Make me regret what I've done. I'll act like you have won. Yes, there's an actual ending slash kind of review. Okay, so, uh, it's gonna be a short one. <laughs> Robin sucks. I, uh, I officially think she's the worst, and I do mean that. Ruby will be the best series of all time. Like, even if a masterpiece comes along, like a series that is absolutely flawless, it has absolutely nothing wrong with it, it I mean, anything that anybody would try to even remotely use to criticize it would not be objective, it would just be based off of personal preference, and, you know, nothing with substantiated weight, just all nitpicking, it's all conjecture. I mean, a show that's just brilliantly beautiful in every conceivable way from an from pretty much a subjective standpoint too as well because i'm i was i'm going to sit there and say like 99 or 98 percent people enjoy it you know just in general and then subjectively that good too so even if that show comes along it's never going to happen but some shows are definitely going to get close i know i've seen shows that have in my opinion my personal opinion have definitely gone pretty close to what i would call a darn near perfect show i don't it doesn't matter no matter what i see if they kill robin i will still say I will say it, and I will stand on it. It'll be a hill I will die on. That Ruby is objectively... And I, yes, I'm going to say objective. That's right. Objectively. The greatest series of all time. I stand by that. Uh, but as far as anything else goes...
yeah, I don't like I said, um, there's not really much to review here. It, it just seems like everyone was full of nonsense. You know, Oscar li literally, literally, literally trying to have his cake and eat it too there in his last little speech to Ironwood. It's like, wow, wow. The, I feel like I'm the only one who knows what hypocrisy means. I feel like I'm the only one who knows what that means because clearly none of these characters do. And, um, God, I'm blanking on her name. Is it Neo or Nero? I think it's Neo. Because I remember she's like based off of the ice cream. Uh, the, uh, the characters based off the ice cream. So like Neapolitan. So I think it's Neo. Um, that's not really too big of a shock. Uh, I like her character and I thought, wow, her design was like really thick. Uh, and her disguise there. I noticed during the skipping part, I was like, oh, wow, that's her. Oh, that's cool. Um, but then I kind of realized, oh, right, that means Cinder, because they were together, and then, you know, now we're adding that back in. I mean, it's been a while since we got their story anyway, so, you know, I guess we just see what they've been up to. Uh, but, yeah, other than that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Pe peace. And to all my gummy knights, new and old, just remember, this is a man's world, but it would be nothing without his brain and his bronze. And lying is indeed the most fun that a woman can have without taking off her clothes. Good night. Squirt is sticking up in here, so the last and over still so young Just before it says it, I aim to be Your eyes will be boys, so be wives Applause, applause, no, wait, wait Dear studio audience, I've an announcement to make It seems the artists these days are not who you think So we'll pick back up on that on another page